Hey guys, I hope my sound is working, but this is just a small video. It's not going to be a whole 10 minutes, hopefully. It's probably going to be me rambling. But, um, I'm not trying to sound that dramatic, but I kind of am upset. If you don't know, the rumors are true. I did delete my account on Movie Star Planet. And as you can tell, I'm not filming on Movie Star Planet. There's two reasons. One, I quit. I also quit MSP YouTubing. You're not going to see that many Mo Movie Star Planet YouTubing things. And there are a bunch of reasons why. Of course, the first one is the FTC and this copper thingy. Yeah. Number, that's the number one issue. Number two is how many things can you do on Movie Star Planet like in a video? Buy a diamond pack every time there's a new one. I got no money. Um, theme reviews, I literally look up theme reviews, and literally that Thursday that they're all being filmed on, because that's when MSP does their new themes, there's already so many people making, you know, there's already so many people doing it, so, yeah, and MSP series, MSP YouTube videos, like, those take forever, guys. For number one, to have a series, you mainly have to get a story. I have a lot of story ideas, but it's also like try the characters, the animations, you know, like thinking of the whole thing. That's also why my movie's taking forever. I need actors, I need blah, blah, blah. But yeah, that's only because of MSP to me. The reason I kind of quit MSP, I am on my backup, which I am... In the description, the awesome epic one is gone for USA meeting. I'm going to swap it with my backup once I finish this video. And I have photo proof of what's going on. I am currently dating someone. Her name on Movie Star Planet is Blossom Sleep. Now everybody knows that, she's a sc that she scams. She used to in my mind because I've actually traded her a lot. And she's very nice. She is my waffles. I guess I call her waffles. There's a really funny story of why that happened. And she knows. But, sorry, I had to move my leg. It was falling asleep. What's been going on with it's the main reason is, is the bullying. I get people messaging me saying, hey, you know your girlfriend's a scam? And I'm like, not that I know of. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I have gotten people send me proof on my social media saying, hey, you know, she scams. And I'm like, you're just showing the gift system part. Like, you know, you could have just given it to her as a donation. Okay, I'm not defending her in a way to where you all will hate me, but I've traded her twice. Yeah. Forgot the first time I did it. The only, I think the only time I traded her, I had to give her a universal item. That, and she really wanted it, and I'm like, hey, yeah, okay, as long as you have something for me, and she's like, hey. so she gave me, I think, like, two greets for it. It wasn't really, it wasn't worth really anything, and I don't like female, I don't like the girl rares for my accounts meeting. They're really cute, by the way, but I wouldn't want them on my account. Anyway, so the major issue is, yes, I get messages saying blah, blah, is a scam. Well, this one happened literally this morning. I actually have, um proof from my social medias of what's been going on. So, let me try to find it. It happened really early this morning. Okay. Do, 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 Gotta find it. Okay. It says, people keep spamming me say I scam, you know. This is her, by the way. She, she, the person said that they were going to spam me and all my art books as well. I said, my art books? I said, yeah. And she said, yeah. And I was like, sorry for a re late reply. I was making food. This is at lunchtime. 
So she said, it's okay, check your comments though. And I said, I'll send you what she says. Please don't die of laughter because I will. Because this is literally really good. Begun. It started to become really stupid. Not, and I'm not going to read every single comment, okay? I'm not going to read every single, you know, thing. But in this part, right now, I'm going to edit a few photos of what the people sent me. So I said, she messaged saying spam me your art books. I was like, okay, and it's like, uh, pretty sure I don't care. I really don't. I'll just delete it. Well, it kind of got out of hand. One of my art books I posted saying, would you rather lose the ability to speak or you lose the ability to read? Now that was just, you know, a random art book. I was bored, okay? I make random art books. Okay. So, and she's like, only 24? Well, 20, because four of the comments were actually towards that art book, actually sticking with the theme. So only, she only had spammed it 20 times. So I said, all it said was scam. And then, yeah, I'm trying to kind of summon, you know. And then the, the person that actually did this, I'm literally gonna list the, the users that I've recorded off of, you know, screenshots and stuff. So all that will be in the description of the bullies. It's probably one person, but making multiple accounts to bully us. Me, mostly me now. Because they don't want to bother with her. So this one's status says, whoever helps me get to level six will get a good gift. I pro uh, gift, I promise. And they're only level five. So, you know, I sent her that. And then I was like, and she calls you a scam, LOL. Because, you know, it's only level five. She can't even gift or, or trade. I think you have to be level six to trade system. I don't know. I just only know you either have to be VIP or level six to gift. And then, um, and then I took a screenshot of her closet. She only has one page of all noob items. So what gift can she give us if we got her to level six? Anyway, so. Then I was just talking about some toxic fr toxic people that were annoying me, some people that were my friends, and we were just chit-chatting. And then, um, then I told her that about some other scammer that actually scammed her of a really good rare, and I said, you know, oh, that scammer actually added me, you know, and I can get it back from you. I have, you know, I'll probably find something that's worth it. And, you know, she was, she was like, nah. So then, um, I, so then she sent me that that same art book has 49 comments. Still take back four, four of them. So it's technically 45 comments of just scam. Now, you're wondering why my art books and why not hers? This is the part that the bullying got out of hand. They assumed I was Blossom Sleep. Okay, I am not. I am my own person. You see? I am nothing. I want to say I'm nothing like her, but I'm like, I'm not her. We have dealt with similar things. We talk about our personal lives. She's kind of the only other person besides my friend Cheyenne that um, knows about my personal life. Like... Jay knows 100% of it. She probably knows like maybe like 80% of it. And I told her some certain things only because they're, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, so the bullying kind of got really out of hand where I was deleting comments like crazy and I deleted all the first set and I blocked that person. Comes on on another account and I have all the accounts. Some of them I lost track of because it became up to I think 10 different accounts spamming that one art book to where I put it on private so nobody would see it. Then they went to the next art book in line. So you were either going to make me put all my art books on private to where I have no art books, which is a lot of art books. I think I have about 50 or 60 different types of uh, different art books. I don't know. I haven't counted and I can't now. I deleted the account. So I, that's when the part where I started to go message to people. And I told them, I'm not Blossom Sleep. You know, she's my girlfriend, you know, my friend. 
and they're like liar you know you are her stop playing and I'm like well ask her yourself she can't she blocked me and I'm like okay go ask one of her BFFs you know I'm only doing quote unquote because I don't know who her friends are on her best friend list okay I kind of know them kind of don't I don't know <laughs> Some of them message me with very me rude messages saying, if you actually hurt her in any way, I will come there and I will kill you. Rah! It's like, I'm not gonna hurt her. <laughs> I've gotten two of those already by her friends. If she's watching this, she understands my issues with your friend, with her friends. I am, I'm an innocent little dragon in all of this, by the way. Anyway, so it got to the part where it's liar, liar, you know. I was going to delete the account tonight. I made an art book. Some of them say, yeah, yeah, you're making this for attention. Nobody wrote in my guest book, though. So I'm assuming they were all on app. You know, app only. Or just never knew to write in the guest book because they knew I would delete it. So there, that art book is still up, by the way. There's actually two art books that have over 110 comments. Both of them. Just back and forth, actually. What I mean by back and forth is... I deleted my account, I left for a bit, I went to go, I have fleas in my house, I had to get bug bombs. Yeah, we're gonna do that tomorrow. That's also why I don't hear the bird. The bird is not here at the moment. The bird is taking a vacation at my father's house. I'm kind of trying to focus on my, uh, there's a, a square that's focusing on my face and I'm trying to make sure it still focuses there. But anyway, yeah, so the bird's on vacation right now. Thank God he's away from all this drama. So that's mainly what, what's going on. I got the message saying they're spamming all my art books because they think I'm her. It got out of hand. Bam, I delete, the art, I delete my account. Now, I did want, and this is a thing I should have told you guys. Ooh, turn off my TV. I was watching YouTube, okay, guys? Anyway, um, I did want to quit MSP for a very long time now. I think it's been almost two years since I've been wanting to quit MSP. And what the heck? This battery is dying too. This video has only been 12 minutes and the battery's dying. One second, guys. Oh wait, the other battery's not. Oh. I hate you, camera. Wait, I literally just charged both batteries. This thing is starting to have a mind of its own. I'll be back, guys. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm really sorry about that battery issue. I'm pretty sure while I record this video, there's gonna be a whole slideshow of all the proof and all the screenshots I got, and also the screenshots I took. Now, I did accidentally, I would swap, I have two batteries that are completely identical. I really should label them. I keep forgetting to label them. So this one's the fully charged one, the one I meant to put on my camera before I started recording, and the one I did was the one I was supposed to be charged. Anyway, back to the story. I now I completely totally forgot where I was. <laughs> That's how sidetracked I get. Well, I mean, I was just mostly talking about all the bullying and stuff. So bam, I delete my account. I go to get some bug bombs. I have fleas in the house. I'm about to bomb it tomorrow, so I'm gonna be out tomorrow. So no uh, movie star planet for me anyway. I mean, so I am on my backup, but not as much. I have been wanting to quit Mooster Planet for almost two years now, and there's been something holding me back, and I'm still trying to figure out if it's what it is. I mean, I know what part of the reason is, but that's only like a minor detail, like as friends. I do have a couple of good friends here, but the other part is a major one, and I don't, and it, I know what it is. It's 
just hard to remember. One of them, of course, is me getting older. I am 21, guys, okay? But that's, that's another minor detail. I know people on MSP that are older than me, you know? So, yeah. Anyway, but... So I went on my back cup, and assuming, because my name is Kai, my back cup is Kai the Man 4332, they found me. And they started messaging me on there, because I didn't have any art books on that account, because I deleted all my art books on my back cup already a long time ago, because I thought I was going to use it 100%, and I'm like, mm, it's just going to be a backup. <coughs> 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 Anyway, so that's what happened. I came back from my little shopping trip and I went on Moostar Plant. Uh, some people messaged me on Instagram asking me what the hell did you do because I went a post saying I feel so relieved. It's still getting to me only because I was kind of forced to delete my account. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, people spread rumors about me and I never deleted my account. Well... This wasn't the first rumor. This was the eighth. I've gotten other rumors spread around and I don't remember who, but it was a hacker one. There was other ones of me being rude for some weird reason. I mean, the only time I would ever, ever be rude to someone is if I'm in a bad mood or you're bully or you're bullying one of my friends. So that's it. And I just got like a lot of just dumb rumors. Some people call me like I'm, I copy people, you know. There's another rumor going around saying I stole people's edits when somebody's stealing mine. That's an old rumor. So this isn't the first time. It just kind of got tired. I just kind of got tired of it. I can't get the account back, guys. Uh, reason is, the email that the VIP receipts went to got hacked. And when I was able to get the account back, and this is actually not just my email, it was the entire, you know, email platform got hacked and so I got the account, I got the email back. I'm like, oh, it's okay. I changed the password again. I got a random email and it was, you know, there was multiple, you know, emails from a random person telling me that they want a picture of me. Yeah. <laughs> they want a porn picture of me. And they called me some other name. So I'm assuming whoever had this, ha hacked my account, had, you know, did the name or whatever. And then I got pictures of other stuff. Enough said. So I had to deactivate that email. And I totally forgot to forward those emails that have a Mr. Planet on it to my new email. I was just didn't want to deal with the, that, 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 that stuff. That's a long time ago. That, 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 that's gone. Anyway, but I should have done that. So if I ever did decide, I might have went back to that account after like about probably like four months or so. When I know it kind of died off. Then I would go on it. And then I would try to get it back. And I know you're all going to say, but Kai, you could always email Movie Star Planet. They won't give me my account back. I tried to get my old account back, my really old one, from the MSP Backstory account because there's two diamond packs that are non-level ups on that account. I'm screaming. I'm pretty sure my neighbors are going to get mad at me. It is 8.25 at night. I'm in the new apartment. Don't worry, you guys are getting a house tour later. Anyway, but they won't give me any accounts back unless I have proof of the receipts that I bought VIP. And the reason I can't get my other account, the old, old, old OG awesome epic is, um, that email was my father's. 
and it was attached to a different email. You know how like you have an email and you have a master email. Like you got a master email and you got like little secondary emails. Well, this was around the time my parents divorced. You know, my father had the master email in his possession, password and everything. He was like, I'm gonna delete it. You know, probably won't affect anything. Deletes, deletes his email, my original email. Ooh, I don't even wanna talk about that one and other stuff. So I made a new email. You know, my mom made it. And that was the one that got hacked. And all the other stuff. Anyway, so he has no access to the email. He has no access to it at all. So that was the other reason. I even asked him for any, e on his current email, if there's any receipts or just type in Movie Star Planet and then forward me all the emails. And he did. But there were just res reminders um, on stuff like they were just like saying thank you for your purchase but they never like there was no receipt at all. Not a link, nothing. So and then I put the email as my own email. What mainly actually I'm going to tell you what mainly happened with that is he would use his PayPal account and then put you know his email for the receipt on his PayPal account so PayPal would email him. So I said, anything, anything Movie Star Planet rela uh, uh, relatable? And he's like, no, because, yeah. And then some of them would say, thank you for your purchase, blah, 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 blah. Okay, done with that story. But yeah, so um, I quit, I'm done. I quit MSP YouTube, I quit MSP, pretty much. I mean, yeah, for my backup. I'm gonna be on it. I feel so relieved that I'm done with Movie Star Planet, that I am literally might have just have a relaxing night. There was a huge part of Movie Star Planet that made me wanna quit. It didn't make me quit. It was a part that I was like, okay, I'm gonna quit. I was gonna quit the first time I got hacked on my OG Awesome Epic. But I didn't. Because my friend who got me into Movie Star Planet told me she will be my friend. You know, she'll add me if I make another account. And then she, of course, manipulated me and all that. Anyway. That's an issue. Sorry. That was an issue. I have so many things in my mind right now. Anyway. So I remade Awesome Epic. You know all that whole story. That's a video. Okay, guys. Anyway, so what mainly made me want to quit, of course, is bullying. I got bored. I don't go in the chat rooms. I don't make anything. You know, I don't go shopping as much. The themes for the guys are complete crap half the time. I mean, except for the Christmas rares. That's it. What else? I still have my rare account, so all my Christmas are is from <laughs> years ago are on there. Yeah, I have all those rares from 2016. And a couple from 2014. Only because of when I did get hacked, all my stuff was getting sent out to people. And then those people that knew me, knew I made another account, would send them back to me. So, of course, I got some stuff. I got some of my stuff. But yeah, so I might just might as well just keep my backup for good. But that's all. There's nothing else I can do. I don't really won't be on my backup as much. I mean, that's I gotta call it now my main. Anyway, I'm pretty much on the trip plan. I know, I'm just like I don't leave. If you leave, I'm gonna leave. It's like I kind of was forced to leave. I've been wanting to leave. I regret deleting the account. I do. Because I did tell you guys I was going to leave after my VIP ran out. Technically, my VIP has been ran out. If you look at, if you search up my account, Awesome Epic, it says non-VIP. But when you click on it, it's VIP. There is a small glitch in the VIP system with Movestar Planet. 
And that's one of the reasons why I never got my daily dark star coins or diamonds. You know how you're supposed to get those when you're VIP? Yeah, I never got them. After the 11th, and it's been almost a month, it'll be a month tomorrow, that I haven't gotten my daily star coins and diamonds. So if we wanted to be a little bit of an asshole, let's um, go to my calculator and I get two diamonds a day and 40 star coins a day, according to, you know, VIP. So four weeks, I'm just gonna say four weeks because that's approximately how much a month is. So four weeks is 28 days. Approximately, yeah. Okay. So, we're going to go 2 times 28, which is 56. So, I'm missing 56 diamonds. Wait. 40 times 28. And 1,100. Here. Folk. I hate my phone. That one down there. Right? Down in that, the bottom one. I'm just an equal then. That's how many star coins I'm missing. Or was missing. Technically, I'm not missing any star coins because my VAP was supposed to run out, but there's a glitch saying I was going to run out of VAP on the 20th of January. I don't mind. I didn't mind it at all because I was still able to buy VIP items. I was still able to be gifted VIP items. And I was still able to, um, oh, spin the wheels, you know, the VIP wheels. I just never got diamonds or star coins. So I've been out, out of diamonds for a while. I've been kind of like making sure I get as... I have no more diamonds. It's okay. But, um, yeah. There's a bunch of stuff going on. So, long story short, I quit. I am not Blossom Sleep. Don't even dare try to tell me I am. I've already had those issues. I know some people have had those issues where they were mistakenly made for Blossom Sleep. And she knows this whole story. She's pretty much dealt with it firsthand with me. So. And if you can't, you know, if you don't like it that me and Blossom Sleep are dating in a way, I know her real name anyway, but I'm not going to say her name. Um, if you don't want to know that me and Blossom Sleep, if you don't like that because she's a scam, well, there's the thing called the unfriend button and the block button. And on YouTube, if you don't like it, there's a thing called the unsubscribe button. The one button I don't want anyone to press. But if you don't like this, there's also a little X on the top of your computer screen. Don't watch my videos then. Also, if you are under the age of 13, get the fuck off my channel. I'm sorry. Pardon my french fries. I don't want Kappa after me. You know, the Kappa is the children's online protection pri privacy protection act. YouTube got fined $17 billion because the FTC, which is some children government thing in America, and I live in America, okay. The FTC is like, you're taking children's things and you're gonna give them to sex offenders and pedophiles? And I'm standing there like, what the hell? Because FTC is like, we're big government people. We do what you, you guys got to do what we say because we're a big fat golden throne. <laughs> I've dealt with government for too long, guys. Okay, I'm disabled. Okay, I, I used to get free money from the state, but they think I'm too whatever to get money from the state. Let me say it probably. Okay. We're big fat government people who sit on our golden thrones and say we rule America. Who gives a crap about the president? We're over the president. In a way, yeah, actually. <laughs> if you guys are in any type of American economics or government class, um, the president, you, everyone thinks the president's up here. 
in ranking. It has nothing to do who, with who's the president now. I honestly don't like politics, period. I'm not a political person. Anyway, but in ranking of positions, the president is actually second. The government is first. Now, I'm going to tell you that all laws have to be passed through by the president, like it has to be okayed by him, and then it happens, in a way. But the president isn't number one in positions. So if everyone says, oh, well, if I could be president, you know, I could do this and this and this. No. Not really. <laughs> Little lesson for you guys, actually. And if you all tell me in the comments it's not true, Google it. It's actually somewhat true. Part of it is true, but part of it is not. The part about everything has to go through by the president is one is true. The part that the government is a little over the president is true. I hate government. They think they can do whatever they want to us. They're also actually pretty much making me broke. Also, a bunch of you are saying, okay, why don't you just buy VIP for your, bank for your backup? Oh, I wish I had my wallet on me. I can tell you there's nothing in that wallet. Nothing in my bank account either. I would show you guys my bank account, but I'm not supposed to. It's not a thing. What? I can show you my phone. <laughs> I am starting to become half asleep, so kind of going a little on the uh, crazy side. Yeah. This happens with Kai uh, at almost nine o'clock at night when he's taking his sleep meds. I start to go, I'm actually supposed to take my sleep meds about a half an hour before I'm supposed to go to bed. So I'm supposed to do that or they won't kick it. So, yay. Sleep meds. They kind of make me go loopy. A little, only because I'm tired. The only other thing that they do is make me tired during the day. Sometimes. Not all the time. But, yes. That's what's going on with Kai's life. Could I call this a vlogmas? Yeah, no. Not yet. That's next year, guys. I know a lot of the big YouTubers do vlogmas. Um, you might get a vlogmas, but probably like one video. The only reason is I moved the 1st of December. I also never planned ahead. A lot of these people plan three months in ahead. I could just tell they, they're big planners. I don't have a plan. I don't even know how YouTube schedule. Because now I have to screw up my whole schedule now because I'm quitting Movie Star Planet on YouTube. Because it was supposed to be Sundays would be Movie Star Planet Day. And it would be every Sunday would be recording Movie Star Planet. Or, and then the video would get released any time that week. Because I have such, I have the wacko schedule, guys. So now the schedule is totally messed up. I am trying to make a video. I mean, trying to make a schedule. But it won't be as specific as the time it goes up. Now I know I can make the timing, like uh, there's a new, the new settings now to upload videos. You can make it as you want it at a specific time to upload and I can do that, but I don't think it'll be right. Cause what if I'm supposed to upload it, I don't know, Wednesday at four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm not done editing by Wednesday at four o'clock in the afternoon. Editing does take a long time guys, especially with this whole computer. By the way, status update on the old computer. It still works. Just like he used to. Although it still lags. But that's because it's an old computer. And a lot of you told me, oh, eight years isn't old for a computer. It is. If you think about it, the iPhone 5 is a dinosaur. My father has a iPhone 6. That is a, um, a caveman. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like times because dinosaurs came before ca 
came before cavemen. What's in between that? The iPhone 8 is a 17th century phone in a way. <laughs> That's kind of like how everybody thinks of technology. Mine is a cheap phone. My phone, I think, was made about last year, so. My Xbox is a dinosaur. <laughs> it's a, the original Xbox 360. Not the Xbox 360, the original version, like when they first came out. My Wii is a dinosaur. My PlayStation 2 is a 2000, was made in 2002. So that is definitely a dinosaur. Probably I think it was before time. Anyway, so I will make a video of what you guys are supposed to be seeing, you know, blah, 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 in the future. Basically 2020. The, uh, every series, every MSP series has been canceled. My Everything But Normal series has been canceled. My Katie's Washed Away series has been canceled. The main reason was is because nobody was watching it on Movie Star Planet and she was afraid because not everybody can access YouTube. Nobody will be able to watch it. So she's like, you know, I'm done. The second reason is because I deleted my account. And I'm one of the major characters. The videos will not be on here. Like, the videos, I'll keep them on here, but she kind of quit. So the last episode, the last two episodes, four and five, I'll move to her plan. I'm going to record and edit, and that's it. Like, that's the ending. And what I might do is probably tell you the rest of the story. If she will let me. Okay. Sorry. I had to make sure nobody was texting. So, Merry Christmas. I'm not saying Happy Holidays. I don't want to. I just don't like that. To have to say it because uh, against my own religion. I'm Catholic. Yeah. I have nothing against the other religions. I have nothing against sexuality. I have nothing against any of that. I just don't want to say happy holidays. So Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. There's another one that is around this time of year and I forgot what it was. I've also have been curious about all the different types of who celebrates Christmas in a way and who, how do you celebrate your holidays? Because I know for around the world people celebrate Christmas differently. I know in Northern Europe, Krampus is a thing, but not a horror thing. Krampus is Santa, their version of Santa. America made it into a horror thing. But I actually want to know, That's, that sounds to me incredible. I'm very strange like that. I'm also a little like my father. Yeah, if you kind of want to know the, the difference between my father and my mother, I might make that in another video. Also, I am going to be doing a kind of a draw my life type thing, but only if I hit either, I'm going to lead more towards a thousand subscribers. If I hit a thousand subscribers, guys, I will definitely do a draw my life because I got to write it. I kind of, kind of doodle it. I have a real great version of draw my life. There's going to be two different versions of draw my life now because I'm going all out. There's the real version and the fucked up Kai version <laughs> where everything is sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but I mean like, you know, there's two different versions. The fantasy type version and the real version. Who knows what's, which one's going to come out first? Probably the fantasy version. Yeah, that would be funny. You know, like everyone thinks that that's real, you know, and then the real draw my life comes out. September 13th, 1998, a little dragon was born in a hospital, a mortal human hospital. Nobody knows why. That's going to be the start of the fantasy draw of my life. That's a good one. I got to write that down. And I don't have my computer on me. I still have the new computer, guys, the newer one. That thing's going to be two years old now. But... I'm using it to write scripts, you know, kind of plan everything out. Christmas, blah, 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 yeah. So, 
I hope you guys have fun and be yourself. You guys, my human squad. Yeah, that's a thing actually going around about the human squad. That thing, human, that phrase human squad is kind of bit of nutshell. I'll tell you guys about it in a different video only for two reasons. One, this camera battery is going to die again for some reason. These batteries hate me. And I'm going on for 30 minutes on this clip. So, bye. I've always liked to play with fire